Lynetto Tim is a second generation Chinese South African. That often confuses people because it means I'm born here, my parents were born here, and my grandparents are originally from China. At this stage in her life, Lynette felt a strong desire to visit the homeland of her ancestors in order to explore her heritage. The reason that I travelled to China was to get in touch with my roots, my Chinese roots and my heritage. Although I've practised the traditions and my heritage for many years as a South African Chinese, I really wanted to know what it would be like to be a Chinese in China, but coming from a different background. I decided to embark on the journey to China as a combined decision with my dad. It was a journey we'd been planning on and that we knew we needed to take in this lifetime. From the first day that we arrived in China, it was Shanghai. We were collected at the airport by our tour guide, checked into a hotel. It was only once our tour guide left and we were on our own that we realised we are foreigners because the language is a big problem. We are Chinese, but it's about the language and that separates you from the locals. Despite the language barrier and with the assistance from their tour guide, Lynette and her dad managed to navigate their way around the country. The cities we visited were starting in Shanghai, then we went to Xi'an and then we went to Beijing. Um, so in Shanghai is my favourite city, I love the energy. I think it's very energetic and it's a mixture of modern and old. Um, Suzhou was also interesting, an hour outside of uh, Shanghai, which was all these rivers and canals and an oriental Venice. Xi'an, we went to see the Terracotta Warriors, which was also a highlight. And then the biggest highlight was uh, the Great Wall in Beijing. So what I brought back with me from China to South Africa is a journey of discovery. Discovering being Chinese foreigner in China. That there are differences in the language, in the ethnicities, the food, um, although seem very slight, are quite vastly different. I would definitely encourage South Africans and especially South African Chinese and Chinese from anywhere in the world. It's, it's modern and progressive, although it still holds its roots and its culture very much in Chinese history and it celebrates that it's, it's very forward thinking and very dynamic and I think there are a lot of changes that are going to happen. And just from my brief visit as a tourist, I would definitely go back and I would recommend it to anyone.